Missing something. Maybe I should look around here first. Help us, Lieutenant! October 24th, 1863. I have lost one of my men. After the carnage at Gettysburg, I had hoped I would never again have to see one of the men under my command lose their life, but I now know that this was just a delusion. But even during the height of battle, I do not ever recall losing a man so mysteriously. One minute he was there, and the next he was gone. I now suspect that these woods around Burkittsville truly are alive, and that they will be the death of me. Why are you polishing that thing, skunk? In case we need to use it to call for help. You never know when a bugle will come in handy. What about you, Lieutenant? Why do you keep writing in that journal? It helps me think. And it calms my nerves. What do you think, Lieutenant? Are the rebels just trying to scare us? Ain't no rebels, I tell you that. If they's out here, they's dead. Shut up, Mosley! It's got to be the rebels! Right, Lieutenant? I don't know what to think, to tell you the truth. We'll go back to town tomorrow and report to the Major. Maybe he'll know what to do. I sure wish Newhouse was here. He'd know what to do. Stay with me, Private. We'll be okay if we just stick together. Tomorrow, we'll walk out of these woods. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's happening again. Newhouse, and Mosley's dead. We're... we're all dead men. We are dead men.
I don't need to go back that way.
Not finished here yet. Ah, Mr. Lazarus. It is you, isn't it? Yes, it's me. Very perceptive. For a blind man, yes. As I told you, my other senses have more than compensated for my lack of sight. It's funny how I keep running into you. Yes, well, you're not far from my home. Did you find the Viva girl? No, not yet. It seems as if these woods would prefer that I didn't. Come now. Don't tell me you're starting to believe those old wives tales about this woods being haunted. I'm not sure what I believe anymore. What was that? I thought you were the expert on the woods out here. October 25th, 1863. Dearest Anne, we haven't slept a wink in this woods all night. I have lost another man in a horrific episode that I do not yet understand. Only one private remains under my command, and he has been horribly affected by the events we have encountered. We have begun looking for a way out of the woods, but seem to be drawn ever deeper into them, despite our best efforts. Sir, I hope you're almost done writing, because we need to keep moving. I'm finished. Let's keep moving, Private. Yes, sir. Hey, sir! I see a gate up here. Hurry up! I think it's a house or something. Oh, God. It's a... a graveyard! Not finished here yet. Shit! It's happening again! What the hell is going on here? Sweet Mary, Mother of Jesus, why are you doing this? Oh my god. It can't be. It's Newhouse and Mosley. But they're dead. Sir, tell me they're dead, sir. I can't take any more. I've got to get out of here. What are you? Why don't you leave me alone? Ah! Not finished here yet. I cannot abandon my men.
little time left. Joyben, where are you? This way! Hurry! Robin is back there.
I've finished preparing them for the ritual. Good. Soon I will be able to transfer the rest of my essence into this vessel. She is strong. She still fights me, even though there is no chance for her escape. She is draining my energy much faster than I had thought. We must complete the ritual soon and purge her soul from this brain. Go to the house and prepare the portal for my arrival. And then you will give me the power of sight and to control the minds of men, yeah? You have been my willing servant. I will reward you as I have promised. Now hurry! I have much to do before I complete this ritual. Yeah. I will prepare the way for you. Thank you, Great One. Keep him away. This ain't real. Oh God! It can't be real. You hear me? You're dead too! Those dogs got you! It's me. Put the rifle down, Private. No. You've come to get me, but I'm too quick for you. Nobody sneaks up on old skunk. Nobody! Private, I am your commanding officer, and I am ordering you to drop that rifle. That old lady tried to sneak up on me too. She told me that she died in here. That I was gonna die in here too. She thought she could fool me, 
But I showed her, oh, I showed her. Mister? Are you okay, mister? Why are you doing this, child? Deliver me from this evil, O Lord. Devil, release this child. I command. <coughs> oh, God! Look at my innards! They dragged him out of me! Oh, God! You see, soldier? You are already dead. I killed you then, and she took you from me, but she was too late! John. We've waited so long for you to come back. Be one with us. Don't come any closer, mister. He'll make me do something terrible. Stay away. I don't want to hurt you, but I got to. Man doesn't like smelly things. It is too late, 
it is too late, it is too late, it is too late, it is too late, it is too late, it is too late, it is too late, it is too late, it is too late, it is too late. Robert McNichol. You okay, mister? Run, girl. Go back to your grandmother. I can't hold him long. He's... killing me. But you're... Run!
him inside of you now. You are going to die. Why are you so afraid to face me? <laughs> You don't know what you have done! No! No! Hush now. You're okay. You're in a place of healing. You... 
Calm yourself. You've been shot in the head. You must remain calm. But... It's all right now, Lieutenant. You're going to be just fine. 